Look how dirty that window is. Anyway, there it is. Right, you probably don't need to see the ladies' things in here. So let me take the ladies' things out because I'm obviously keeping those. I had enough ladies' things in there to last me probably until I stop needing ladies' things anymore. So let's see what else is in here. I can't put you on the tripod because it doesn't go up high enough. So this is a Volta Roll patch that my husband uses for his shoulder because he got damaged when he had his car accident. Not car accident, he was motorbike accident. Uh, what was these tablets? Oh, they still in date. Dizzy tablets that was given to me by the hospital when I was in the hospital. Mm. Right, these are the refills for my electric toothbrush. I'm keeping those. There's some more of those Andrex, which don't need to stay in here. I'll put them with the others. Right, vitamin D drops, vitamin D drops. <sighs> don't know whether I'll ever need them again. I had a low vitamin D reading at some point, and uh, they gave me. I've got a year to run on them. They gave me vitamin D drops. And, but now I just go and see in the sun instead. <laughs> um, so my D hasn't been level. This is a temporary filling kit. I don't know where it is. It's on the floor now. Uh, Ibuprofen, best before 4.16. So they can go, 4.16, that's gone, isn't it? Yes. I don't use Ibuprofen anyway. Only husband does but they were out of date so they're going in the bin now let me just clarify something like that with the ibuprofen you have to be you have to be, oh look you can see me sort of thank you you have to be going to drugs in a safe way in the uk i don't know what it's like anywhere else so i've taken the, the cardboard will go in the recycling bin and these will be taken down to the chemist to be disposed of but when it's so I'm just turning around and putting them in the bag now. But now I will sort them out properly. This is open. Best before 0516. And it's already open anyway. So once it's been open and used, you can't use it again. So I'm really resting on here as I'm get over that. Oh, I might keep the eye bath because I sometimes wash my eyes with just water when they're feeling dry. So Sticking that in there as well as the others. Right, there's some interdental sticks. We'll keep those. Oh, sorry, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. It's uh, the one I used to use. And there's the one that I sometimes use. Hmm. What other stuff we got in here? The dental stick things. I might just get these somewhere. things. Right, loads of razor blades. Stick those up there for now. Lady razor blades. Put that other one with it in a minute. Oh, I think we can get rid of these now. These, these are, belongs to husband's dad's, uh, my father-in-law, and he's got one of them old cutthroat razors. Um, but they took it off of him because he tried to cut his throat <laughs> with it at the nursing home so he's still got the razor but he's not allowed to have the blade so we bought the blades back here but he's not going to use the razor anymore we're not going to use the razor anymore i'm going to get rid of those however you're supposed to get rid of them oh, look at these two they're joined together uh, look at the dust this is so minging i don't care this makes me face it doing these videos right i used to use this exotic Frankie Pangu oil, LMS. I haven't used it for ages. Doesn't even smell of anything anymore. No, it's obviously lost all its Frankie Panguiness. So that's glass. So I can empty that out and then slice all that. And then this is the matching bath and shower cream. Ditto. It's nearly gone anyway. In the bin. Oh, John Damage Reverse Pure Instant Restorative Hair Serum. I just say pill here, it's, nearly, it's half used. I don't use it anymore because I use I use argon oil. Nothing really helps. I do like the container though. The old <laughs> Yeah, but it's not I can't really store oil on it because it's now it's been put it emptied out and put in the recycling. Look at that. 
curdled, uh, what is it? Leaving glossy cream. Bin. Another stupid soap from the Best Western Hotel. Bin. Oh, how old is this? I'll be honest, that's got to be 10 years old. But that's got no, you know, open date. Maybe they didn't do it then. I've got to chuck it, and I? Yeah, I don't use it. Might as well chuck it. We were happy the doorbell rang. Right, so there's another. This is the spray one. Never ever used it. Baby light oil spray. Moisturising without greasy after spill. What's actually in it? Aqua, glycerin, sodium, whatever, whatever. Not keeping it. Small care triple. Where did this come from? It's got three razors, four razors in it. I suppose it's handy but when the other one's not working. Oh my word. Do they even make this anymore? Perfect curls. Probably not. Perfect curls shampoo. I don't think it's even made anymore. I used to love this. It was the best shampoo in the world. Perfect curls. Tames and moisturise curly hair to calm through and make curls bouncy. I mean, it was probably just pure silicon. That's how it worked so well. Really only for that. What we got left? Nyx Chavez Silo Gloss. What was this? Was this the stuff that I liked? I don't think it was. This come from husband's mummy. The extraordinary treatment developed with a quality of hair come voila. Alcohol free, ammonia free, peroxide free. Contains something. Oh yeah, this was... This was this the stuff that I used to like? No, no, this was the one that you stuck. I never used that. Curl Life Matrix. Oh, my friend gave me that. Rubbish. Uh, Ojon. Let's see the hair mop. Look, everything's so filthy in here. <sighs> Hold on. Open the pot, and I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I mean, it used to be brown, but that looks like mousse. That's going in the bin. I did used to use it, but that's going in the bin. Satin Care Shaving Gel. Yes, I shall keep that. There's more of that tooth stuff. Oh, Bruce's nice stuff like paracetamols. That's the only painkiller I take. Oh, now this horrible crappy tub of crapness. I'm never gonna use it. It's in a terrible condition. It's not even in English. Where did that even come from? Maybe we bought it when we were somewhere else. Ah, not keep either way, I'm not keeping it. Right. Ozon again. Flexible, not keeping it. It's never use it. Oh my god. This is from the, before the war. But definitely before the uh, Afghanistan war. Christian Dior Svelte. I used to use it. <laughs> right, how old am I now? That's just how I used to use it in my twenties, so it's gotta be twenty years old. Why am I pushing it? Like, I'm going to keep it. I'm not keeping it. Right, this is... Uh, when I went to see a really expensive dentist, he told me that I was lacking in fluoride. So he gave me this, like, extra strong fluoride toothpaste, which was absolute rubbish, because that wasn't my problem at all. So I've ended up with, like, this really expensive toothpaste that I buy a prescription that I won't ever use. And then this is the toothpaste that I do use. So that can go there. That's bug repellent. What's digging in my hand? Look at me, I've got a dent in my hand. It's a tripod thing, I think. Right, I won't be using these deodorants anymore because. Oh, that's going to fall on me. If Izzy can't, anti shaving, anti marks, anyway, right, because. I told you about my issue with my armpits. <laughs> my lumpy armpit, so. Uh, these are new though, so I'm going to put them outside with them other, the other new stuff that I don't know what I'm doing with yet. My husband bought this recently because he got bitten by a mosquito, so that's still in date. Same with that. Oh, see, I told him he had a new toothbrush the other day. Didn't believe me. Been has. Ooh, that's one of my little refill ones. Let's just put that in its box. Put that in there with those. 
Um, paracetamol expires 08 2019, so we can keep those. That's again, husband's dad. Husband's dad, yeah, my father in law's toothpaste. Stick it out there next. I think I'm going to keep all this stuff together. And then this is a travel bottle of conditioner. I'm going to pull that with the travel stuff. Right, let me just sort this bit out that I've done so far. Lovely. It's funny, I told you there was a story to this pink bathroom. And it's when we, I hate the colour pink. And when we moved in, one of the first things I said we was going to do is change the bathroom. And we had a, probably within the first month of us living here, we had a bathroom salesman come round. And if you're in the UK, you've probably heard of dolph dolphin bathrooms. Well, we had a whole watchdog incident thing with them, which kind of left us a bit wary of bathroom install installers and the bathroom never got changed and then then we had a leak upstairs and the wallpaper on the wall came off so it's all stripped off on that wall and we was like that's it that's when we're gonna we're definitely gonna do the uh redo the bathroom now and that's when we had the bathroom people come around and then the ones that said it was oh if you get a boiler and so basically this is gone in forever that we've got this pink bathroom and we got this this from ikea it's one of them 10 pound Ikea cabinets and we said that'll do temporarily because we're getting a new bathroom like 16 years ago but it's actually happening it's actually happening um, well we've decided it's not happening this year now because this is the time of year last year that we started doing the conservatory which ended up going for too long so we're having it done in April so in April oh it's going to be a big job the boiler's coming out and the, up in the loft the thing's coming out so anyway let me carry on with this all right some time has elapsed. I had to pack some parcels and go to the post office and ride it, ride it, And I also had to get a stool to stand on so I can get to this top, top of this dusty thing. So oh, I've cleaned that shelf. Doesn't matter. Let's move all these little things down so I don't have to. Oh my word! Oh. Is that rust? It is, isn't it? I can see it better through the camera. Mm. I think so. I'm going to try and clean it though. Wish me luck. Right, so I cleaned the top of it the best as I could. It's gone rusty. Um, so there's nothing I can do really. I don't understand why it must be stainless steel. So we're just left with this shelf now. So let's have a look at this. This is Sudafed Block Nose Spray, which I never ever use. I'm guessing half of stars. Expiry. Expiry. Can you see that? Can I see it? I can't see it. I'm blind as a bat. 10. October 2015. So rubbish. Optimise ear spray. Whoops. My glasses just filled in. Oh, I don't remember this. 12, 2013. Store our way up. No, December 2005. Don't remember that. Yeah. No, I remember these. These came from Singapore, from Tiger Balm Village. So I'm just taking my glasses off because I can't actually see when you're that close. So that's um, Tiger Balm. So these actually came from the place where Tiger Balm originated from. No, when we was on honeymoon or not. I'm just going to leave them there because they're just decorative. They're not really to be used. I need to wipe this off though. All right. Corvonia Herbal Mucus Cough Syrup. Traditional herbal ready for relief of cough. Licorice. Licorice. Liquid. Licorice. Liquid. Extract. Squill Oxymil. Oh, this is the same as um, what we had when we were a kid. But look at that, expiry 12, 2014. I won't drop that one on the floor, I'll just put it there. Uh, yeah, have a trip to lean. <laughs> <laughs> these are out of date. I was given these when I was trying to determine what was wrong with me. Dead. Right, this is more TCP, but this one's out of date, I think. July 16, yeah, which is why Hub's bought a new one. 
some Bongella Teaving Gel. That was when Bailey used her teaving. Expiry for in September 2004. Gone. Yeah. What's this one? Expiry in May 2015. Again, it's a mouth ulcer treatment. Fixed vapor rub. This is probably oh, look at that. expires zero zero, but it's like another ultra sun, which has probably not been used. But all this ultra sun stuff, if look, it's one still sealed, was kept. That uh, was bought last year, and I think it and that goes with it, doesn't it? Yeah. So, oh my god. Hopefully you can't see my reflection because I'm not wearing any trousers. Oh, I'm going to just check to see whether you can be able to see all the way through. I took my trousers off because I was hot, so I'm just standing on this in like investing pants. If you can see, I'm sorry. But hopefully I'll cut it out. Um, plasters keep... I don't know, do plasters go off? Plasters go off, do they? Do plasters go off? Comment below if car passes go off, they leave it like they're off, they're all gone yellow. No, they're definitely dead. These ones, these don't look so bad. But then these are elastic cars. Expiry date, 2017. That's alright. Tyra sets, silicone tablets. Manufactured, 2013. Expiry, 2016. Uh, it's just an old pot for them. What the figgery poker is this? Oh, we don't use it anyway. Is it out of date? Oh. Right, good. So that shelf is empty too. So I'm going to quickly clean that shelf because I've got four minutes left recording on time on this. Oh, these little things was on the top. I don't know where these came from. These are little bath salts in tiny little glass containers. I think someone probably bought them for me. Um, so they're going to go. This came from Turkey. The very first time I went, I used to have three of them. I broke one the other day and my husband broke one um, a few weeks ago. This is the only one that's left now. And then this is some Bare Minerals thing. Bare Minerals Foundation Medium. Never been used. Don't use Bare Minerals. I'll clean this top shelf and then everything's ready to go back in and be thrown away and I'll be able to do my, hopefully you didn't see anything then, bag recap. Right, so everything's now in the cupboard, even the stuff in the crate that I'm keeping. So, husband spare deodorant and shampoo, my shampoo and stuff. Um, three lots of the spare soap, the rest is under the sink. The paracetamols. I did have all the drugs here. But it just, the shelf up the top is smaller, so it made more sense. Really, I want them up there as well. Maybe I'll do that and move these. I'll move them to there, maybe. But it's alright for now. So, and then there's my razors, the thingy, spare soap, all the toothy stuff, all those things. Uh, TCP, plasters, and the um, thingies. We've got all this stuff here. <laughs> which some of it I need to empty out like that and throw away and other stuff is my father-in-law's which needs to be just pop, it, pop in one of those when that's clean and the rest of the stuff, I, it's all new, brand new, unused so I'll probably give it away okay, so that's it, let me just get the bags together of what's going so you can see a representation so I was just about to say, here's everything all packed up so this is all the stuff that's still in date, brand new, nothing wrong with it, unopened, but I'm not going to use. So it's filled up one bag. And then this is all the rubbish. So stuff that's just an empty one that's just chucked in there, by the way. But all the stuff that's half used, not going to use, you know, whatever. So that's another bag. There's that glass container as well. Um, so this is all the stuff like, you know, this. So, uh, stuff that's been used half year. So, it's basically, there's my bag for day whatever we're on. Seven, six, seven, whatever it is. So, I was just about to call it done. And then I realised i still got this stuff on the side. That, I mean, this is my husband's side. <laughs> so, he has his shaver, his Nivea, whatever. And his uh, glasses. And then this is my side. And most of this isn't used now. So... Um, I used to use Elemis stuff. It's dark by the way now, well getting dark because it's 
six o'clock. I started this this morning, but I've been doing other things in between. I used to use this Element Elemis Pro Cream Cleanser, but I've used Elemis for like 20 years, and they changed the formula of their Pro Collagen Marine Cream, and I got a really bad reaction on my face, so it's kind of put me off using any Elemis stuff now. So I've stopped using this now. So this is nearly empty anyway, and. This is not nearly empty, but I'm not, I'm not going to use it. I haven't used it for, well, what's it say? Do, 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 do. Does that say you live in a certain, I thought it had to be, use within six months of opening or something. Yeah, this one says use within six months of opening, but anyway, I'm not going to use it anymore, so I'm just going to throw them away. Um. Not so much with this one, I still use this one, so I'm still going to keep that. And it's, well, I don't know what else we got. We got this, which is what I use after I've shaved my legs. Um, and I have a little one that I use when I go travelling. And well, I'm probably still going to use both of those. This baby shampoo is what the only thing that I use to clean my brushes. And there's two of these I've got now because. Um, I don't know, there was another one in the cupboard. This was the shampoo that I used to use, this tea gel for sensitive scalp, but it's really bad for my hair, so I don't really use that anymore. I might just use it up. Um, I won't be using this body scrub. I don't think it's even open. So that's going. That's going to go in the cupboard, because I'm not going to use that. Keeping that. Um, I would never use this. This the bottle's got all like I don't know why. I don't even think it's been used. I'll let the air out, it'll shake it back out that one. Um skin nourishing shower cream. Maybe it's been used a bit. No, that's going. So going, going. Keeping this, I love this stuff. It's the skin nourishing. Obviously the skin nourishing stuff is the stuff that I like milk bath. Um, this is just olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And um, I do use that, so I'm going to use those two. Use that, or use that. These bloody seeds getting everywhere through the window. Let's just run this quickly. Hold on. We're seeing the full glory of my beautiful pink bathroom here, which I'm never showing its full glory. So keeping the bath, keeping the body lotion. There's a bobby shower cream should go there, and then the baby oil. Because that's the same sort of thing. That's going, that's going. I'm keeping that. That's going, that's going. That's going to go in the cupboard down there. So getting rid of those. So, is that it? I think so. I have to put my enemies. Because uh, I'm not using enemies anymore, I'm using actually that could go in the travel stuff. Take that down a little bit. Um. Actually, I don't really use this anymore, do I? Do I? What's it got in it? Paraffin, so liquid paraffin, parmonite and perfume. Mm. I'll keep that one with the travel one though. Okay. Put that with travel. Yeah, Tony said because I've stopped using the enemy, so I shall get out my uh, Lizelle stuff and use that. Yeah, a little teeth cleaner thing. So, bath, it's not bubble bath, it's milk bath, shampoo, body oil, olive oil. Body lotion. I don't even use that that much to be fair. It's got a lot of crap in it, isn't it? Look at that. No, I might give that to my mum. So now we're just down to olive oil. <laughs> baby oil and the milk bath. Right, that's it now. So there's the two current shampoo and conditioner that I'm using. The stuff they use in the bath. Olive oil that I use, mainly use instead of that now to put on my legs. 
and that's the shampoo I was using and that's it so this is it now this is all the stuff that I'm either giving to someone or doing something else with and this is all the stuff that's going in getting rid of so it's that my god that's a big heavy bag and then there's this it's really dark this angle so two bags um whatever this day is just gonna finish cleaning the bathroom now so okay thanks for watching bye so i have basically gone through that bag of rubbish just to finish off in case you oh, people don't think i recycle they're the drugs that need to go down to the chemist that are out of date this is the cardboard packaging that goes in the cardboard recycling and this is my recycling crate from outside which has plastic and glass in it and i've emptied all the containers out and put them in there so um, I dispose of my 30 bags um, responsibly okay oh the only thing I kept was I did keep this this one because it's got a glass pipette in it and they're quite handy for various things so recycled